back. Random TV Review is your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with Love and Marriage Huntsville. Hey. Mar, tell it like it is. Before we get started, listen, last week, <laughs> <laughs> after that girl was called a peasant, y'all went crazy. Went ham. When I tell y'all went crazy, y'all lit my DMs up. <laughs> and I was like, hold on, hold on. I ain't, I ain't really... I kind of did ask for some information, but I really didn't expect it. Um, but we had already been getting information probably like two, three months ago. Although I'm not going to do nothing but just sip my tea and be like, mm, mm, watch this, watch that. Because uh -huh. I'm not, I don't do that. That's not what this channel is about. That's if y'all right. want to hear some tea being dropped, go over there to Funky Dineva. Mm -hmm. You know, did a couple of videos. Probably going to do some more. Look, anything that he's been told, we kind of been told the same thing as well so we probably been getting it from kind of the same sources i don't know yeah but that's not what we do over here yeah. um for you all that keep coming back for these love and marriage huntsville um, recaps thank you thank you if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button and rate the video while you're at it thumbs up or thumbs down it doesn't even matter at this point you've already been counted yeah. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that bell. That bell will let you know when we come in with a new upload. That way you don't got to keep typing our name in to see if the latest upload is up. Yeah. All right. Um, and before we get started, uh, Marceau. 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 I finally got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Beer is 100% real, bro. Look, do you no want to be part it? Do you want to part it so he, can see, so he can see all the way down up in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there was a banter going back and forth on, um, Instagram, on Instagram of yep. whether this was a man weave. <laughs> <laughs> For you all that um, don't know, we have a lifestyle channel, Love With Us, um, Life With Us TV. Y'all yeah. will see when he first grew that beard out and how he's cut it. Multiple yeah, times. Kind of, it came out, went down, came out, went down. So yeah. you all will be able to see that it is 100% real. E. All right, we're going to start off with this scene, right? <laughs> Kimmy goes to get her hair done, and her stylist is actually one of Martel's cousins. I laughed the entire time because she went straight from the door to the chair. I said, no wash bowl or nothing. I <laughs> said, Lord, these 2019 stylists. But yeah. we know this was all for production and whatnot. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But the part that was tripping me out was... The fact that Melody's swoop was going from left to right the entire mm -hmm. scene. One time it was here, then next time it was here, next time it was here. Look, production, mirror imaging. Pick yep. one and stay there because people like us, we know this. <laughs> but she's telling the cousin that she's sick and tired. She's She wants to file for divorce. She's sick of um, how she's being treated. And let me tell you, I forgot to talk about this on last week. Did y'all catch... That Melody said that she was sick and tired of Martel because every time he gets caught, he cussing her out. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you out there cheating. You get caught and you come home and cuss me out? Mm. How does any of that work? No, nah, Melody, you, you deserve better than this, Sugarfoot. Mm. So let's go ahead and get into Kimmy Maurice Monster and Monster's mom, Kawa. Okay. Um, Maurice, we owe you an apology because last um, before this season broke, we kind of was giving you the blues about how the fact that you don't got married now. Now all of a sudden you want your son to come yeah. live with you, <laughs> as if now that you don't, you have this solid household. Now you want Master to come, but that really wasn't what it was at all. Yeah, there was an understanding from the get go before he left Michigan that was. When he became in near middle schoolish, yeah, that he, he would become come, a man when he started getting testosterone uh, and yeah. feeling himself that yeah. it was a time for his father mm -hmm. to take him on and to raise him to be a man. So that was the understanding between the parents, and now that that time has come, it's not transitioning as well as it should. Mm -hmm. There. <clears throat> There's something going on between Kimmy and the ex-wife where the ex-wife doesn't fully respect Kimmy as being the permanent person in Maurice's life right now and the stepmother to her son. There's something going on right there and we kind of want to get a little bit of it a little bit later. Just a little bit later. Yeah. But while we're doing this right, uh, Maurice went to call his son 
And this, it got really, really interesting. Because left, man. He wanted to FaceTime him. Yep. But the FaceTime has to go through his mom. So he called the mom to set everything up so that he can FaceTime his son. And she had a straight up attitude. Mm -hmm. It was almost like, you ain't come home last night attitude. <laughs> and he was like, I'll call you when you were in a better mood. So Kimmy was standing there the entire time. And Kimmy is trying to explain to Maurice that I get kind of how she feels in this transition as a mom. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like you're taking her son away. You're taking her baby away. And Maurice, to his defense, he was like, but how does it you feel do, for, for me? me? as a man, yeah. That's my son, too. Yep. So I'm like, yeah, somebody's going to have to sit down and y'all going to have to really hash this out. And like Maurice said, the adults need to figure this out because yeah. the child shouldn't have to suffer for this. And I just hope that they do work it out and not go through the court system. Yeah. Because we've seen countless times where when it goes to the court system and men end up not fully being in the child's life, they just put them up, send their money, and that's it, and go about their business. I've seen some yeah. good brothers that were, that was in their child's life and... Got in the system, so and the system, yeah. Not saying it's an excuse, it's not. but it, it happens. So I hope y'all work it out between yourselves, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so later on, Kimmy had an opportunity to go out to the club. And these, I think the um, people that went with her consisted of some of her friends, but one in particular was <laughs> Maurice's sister, which is Kimmy's sister-in-law. Then, of course, Tisha, she came a little later. The conversation kind of went like this. Kaiwa still loves Maurice. And you, my dear, has gotten the better product of what she hoped to get from him. Mm. She was with him when they were struggling, down in the dirt, started from the bottom. Now he here with uh, you. Uh -huh. And not here with her. So that's that's interesting to me. But I can understand it though. I can I understand. Mean, yeah, I mean, just think about prior to me, you, your ex person became a millionaire. Yeah. And you went through the struggle when it was broke, cars breaking down, barely holding the job, credit all jacked up, and you helped them get to where they need to, and y'all relationship didn't work. And then, he, then, you know, you look and see him being a millionaire, you feel some kind of way about that. You know, with the other chick. Benefiting from your struggle. If it was soon after me, I probably would feel some kind of way. But if it's years, years, years later, I don't give a rat's ass. But if it was soon after me, I'd be like, God, don't for real. For some people, there ain't no statute of limitation <laughs> on that, though. <laughs> it's like, I look out. I don't know. Is, is it that you looking for the other person to kind of be on your level? Or but or they above you? Maybe just a little bit like this. But if they like like this, be like, wait a minute. No, I'm going to say it like this. And I might have it wrong, but this is just me. This is me talking. Lynette. Sometimes when you know what you have brought to the relationship and you know you a good person and you know that you are a solid person and you've did everything right, um, you've been as supportive as you could be without demoralizing yourself, of course. And then you see someone that has done things that aren't deserving of what we call their blessings mm. excel way above the things that you've been able to achieve i feel some kind of way i'm not mm -hmm. even gonna lie that's the human nature in all of us is that we evaluate ourselves against other people and what we know that they have done mm. so for instance if i was to go out here right now and cheat on you and act a goddamn fool and we split up mm. and as soon as i split up with you you see me on TV in a movie making mad cash money uh -huh. and you're still at the same status that we were like, when we were fuck? together. You would feel some kind of way. Yeah, I'll be playing. I'll play it. Yeah, yeah. I'll play it. Because I'm the one that bucked up. Yeah. So why am I the one that's selling? Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. Not a near but case. Then, I mean, but we don't know yeah. what Maurice did. Yeah, either. yeah. True that. We don't, we, we don't know. And that. like I said, we... When we speak on um, these people's lives, we can only speak on the information that they're they are presenting to us. The show. Even when we're getting tea dropped on us, I always try to keep that tea way back here. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I don't know if any of that skit is real. To be yeah. honest, I don't know if this skit is real. I would yeah. hope that a 
whole lot of it is with a few with a little bit of TV mixed into it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't know these people. Yeah, because you got me. You, you always gotta embellish a story a little bit in order to sell it to the audience because after all, if we're not interested, we're not coming back. Exactly. So you gotta keep us interested so that embellishment, that's what it does. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get on to Mr. Martel. Hanaranga. <laughs> Let me lay hands and pray for you. Mm. <laughs> Should have bought a Honda. <laughs> so Martel, he pretty much told us, he been telling us that Melody's not going away. We ain't getting no goddamn mm -hmm. divorce and he's not moving out. And guess what? He didn't. Nah. He, he went from the bedroom to the upper room. <laughs> to the upstairs. Because he pretty much told his wife, listen, I've been in therapy. And the therapy card was his saving grace. What did I tell y'all last week? Mm -hmm. When so people upset. know that they got one foot outside and another foot on a banana peel, mm -hmm. they will do whatever it takes to keep that person like, mm, maybe this is that chance I need to give them just one more chance. So he pulled the therapy card and she let him upstairs instead of making him no need a house. His friend, what was his name, Neville? I think it was, yeah, something like Neville that. or something like that. He stops by. And Martel telling him the situation of where he is, why he's where he is, and he blames everything on that phone call yeah. and the fact that the one thing that Melody told him to do and he didn't do it was change that number. telephone number. And he was like, why wouldn't you change the number? I know why. Because all they're going to do is give it to her again. Yep. I mean... Let, let's let's just go ahead and act like these people on, on are on TV, y'all. Let's just go ahead and <laughs> act like these people are on TV. They are. Yeah. As soon as that man gets another telephone number, yep. she's going to get it. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of with Martell on this one. I mean, just block the number because at the end of the day, his number is probably public, even mm -hmm. his personal number. And then if that's not public... He has businesses. She still has means to contact him. So I'm like this. I wouldn't have probably had changed the number either. I don't, I, I'm going to make it different on it because he was cheating. So he, he had did, two phones. Yeah, he had two phones. So I think he owed it to her to change the number. Even if she found the number, he would he could have had a leg to stand on and be like, she called me, but I did change my number. So some kind of way she did some research or I gave it to her. <laughs> got the number and gave me That's a That's why he shouldn't even have changed it because we were going to get the same result. Yeah, but at least he had a leg up on it, though. We're going to have to agree disagree on yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Neville asked him, say, you know, why do you do the things that you do? Exactly. And Martel was exactly. like, you know what? I felt empowered to do mm -hmm. so. I feel entitled to do the things that I did. He was like, I I rolled up on the scene in a Lambo. And the and, girls was flocking. And he said someone would do anything just to sit in the front seat. And he was like, it went to his head. He was like, I, I can I feel like I can do whatever I want to do. And I do. Now, well, you think he's trying to say said, that that's how he got that girl? He showed up in a Lamborghini and she wanted to sit in the front no, seat? No, I think that this girl is different. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that she's some fly-by-night chicken head that jet we call them video vixens these days mm -hmm. um i don't think she's like that i yeah. think that somewhere in there i went however they met wherever they met but this man to call her his girlfriend to his wife mm -hmm. he loves that girl exactly and she had and to, there's something different about that girl <clears throat> yeah she had to do something to attract his attention to be stuck around for three years yeah yeah and he admits that um he's done some things Flew her out places. He flew her out. He said, I have placed her places. I have placed, placed her, her into play. I said, like she a game piece. You know, I'm going to I'm going to place you right here. I wanted to hear more right about this placement because placement could mean that I flew you out and put you up in a spot. And, you know, I flew out for a day or two, was with you. And then you had the rest of the vacation. Nah, so that's what his did houses. You, did you place her into housing? Yeah, one of his like houses. That's take, what he did. Like you take care of this chick. Yeah. She, she been placed in one of his houses, man. I'm like, whoa. So now it was like, so what you going to do right now? He said, well, first of all, I'm going to start off by changing my telephone number. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> he was like, cool, good deal, whatever. So at the house... Him and Melody are actually trying to create normalcy in the household. And I agree with that. When you have children and you're not quite sure where this is going right now, 
keep it as normal as possible mm -hmm. until it's not normal. You know what I'm saying? Now, people putting hands on each other and y'all arguing and acting a fool, somebody yeah, needs need to, to go. go. Yeah, you need to go. But if y'all are being civil in the household and, you know, the tension ain't too bad, you know, try it. And it seems like that's what they're doing. But kids are not stupid. Yeah, kids pick up on it. Yeah. So it came a time where the children, <laughs> they were putting the children to bed. Uh, they have the cutest kids. They yeah, are they the do. perfect they mixture do. of both of them. Yeah. And they put the kids to bed and he asked that youngest one, do you want to say a special prayer? She said, no, sir. No, sir. I said, that's you, I tell you. Pray now. That's it. She does what the hell she wants to do. I yep. can tell. And then, um, so Tank, the little boy. He was like, he wanted to pray. Mm -hmm. That little boy could pray his little butt off. I said, so. boy. And then, he, and then he included his mama and daddy in the yep. prayer. So Martel was like, we need to fix this kid. I said, ain't no we, you. Yep. Um, because I feel like my kids are picking up on it. Anytime my son calls out mommy and daddy's name in prayer, it, it's time to fix this. Yeah, because the thing about with kids, though, even though your actions have not changed, but the energy in the house changes. Mm -hmm. And I can remember that being young. I, I knew when, when mama and daddy wasn't, wasn't on up and up. Even though they try to keep things the same. You know, I mean, we heard a few arguments. But I know when stuff was really blown out of proportion. Even though they try to fake it. So you can't, you can't fool you can't a kid. You can't fool no kid now. Nah, like they pick up say, on the energy. You can't fool a fool them. Yup. So Melody and um, Martel, they have been named power couple, power duo of the year, or something. Yeah. For this um, magazine called I Power. I, I Push. I Push. Yeah. And they have to go out to another state and go to the reveal of the magazine cover and whatnot. But they're not in a good place. When this was done and when their photos were taken, they were in a good spot. Mm -hmm. But now that it's time to have the celebration of that accomplishment, they're not in a good space. They're not even talking on the way down there. And I like what Melody was saying. She was like, at every, every audience that I'm in front of, I have to be different depending on... Mm -hmm. The setting that I'm in at that time. That's just life. It really is. You can't always be your real authentic self everywhere you go. That's right. Because sometimes it's just not the place for it. Sometimes you just got to play along <laughs> and go home and then deal with it with your real friends or whatnot. <laughs> but she was saying later on, you know, it was, <laughs> they did well. They did really well. They did really well. Like yeah. they played into the cameras. They played into the questions that were being asked um, asked of them. You know, how do you keep your marriage solid? You know, you all are a great example of this. And she's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. but they did well. They did really. If well. If you probably didn't know, you you probably wouldn't have caught on to what was going. That they weren't in a good. Space. But she but she said something really powerful though that 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 really stuck. Which we already knew that. Um, by them calling them a power couple don't mean that they are a perfect couple. Yes. So that's, I'm glad that they was able to paint that picture to the world that yeah, no marriage or no relationship is perfect. I don't mm -hmm. care how powerful it looks. As powerful as Barack and Michelle's marriage looked when they was in the White House, there was some problem. One was his smoking cigarettes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always stuff that we still dealing with, uh -huh. you know. In a marriage, and you know, of course, when you come out here to the world, you ain't about to show the world everything that you're going through. Yeah, because they don't you put care. Your, yeah, you put your best foot forward, man, so you can inspire your people to do better if you want to do better. Yeah, I mean, that's just like us. We sit here, y'all always call us couples goals, and I keep mm -hmm. telling people, don't call us no couples goals. Be the best versions of yourself, yourself. that you can yep. be. Because when you start comparing yourself against other people, that's when you get it all bucked up. Yeah, because what you see on right now, this is 20 years of work. Yes. To get to this place, and we still and sometimes I don't like him, and sometimes he don't mm -hmm. like me. Sometimes we don't got on this camera. We literally have had to get ourselves together because I'm not yep. feeling you today. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> and, it's all good. It's a part. It's, yeah, it's a part of life. Part of relationships. We're not beefing. I'm just not feeling you today. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it's all good. I still love you though. I mm -hmm. still love you too. Mm -hmm. ah. So that's where they were with that, and they left that and went on by their own separate ways. Okay, over here at Powerhouse Fitness, yeah. it really was a tea party. <laughs> With crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> we met this guy named Sundark. Sundark is actually a friend. It seems like he's probably a mutual friend of all of theirs, right? Mm -hmm. 
And he brings up the houses, how he saw the houses. He started bringing up the comeback group. And through him, <clears throat> through him, Marceau learned that him and Martel ain't good. <laughs> Marceau Mar Mar said, Man, wait a what, minute. What, what, what? I thought we were good, I bro. I thought we were good. Last time we talked, we were good. So Dar said, no, nah, y'all need to talk. You need yeah, to call, you call him. him. <laughs> so Marceau was like, so when, are, when, when did this change that you're the guy? That everybody comes to, to <laughs> with all the problems. With all the problems. You usually the one that starts all the problems. He said, "You know what? I'll eat that. I'll take that." So, so dark. What you about? Yeah. <laughs> Jump in the DMs and tell me what you don't need. Let me stop. Because <laughs> my DMs don't don't do this. Please don't. He still might come though. He still might come. <laughs> but I appreciate them when they come through. When the cast come through, yeah. I appreciate. Anytime they want to clarify something, or we don't quite get it right and they'll fill us in on some of the details and some of the holes that will make everything come together and i appreciate it yeah. i appreciate that you trust us enough and you respect us enough to do that for us because yeah. i'm not sure if y'all do that for other youtubers i don't know so uh with that information marceau called martel <laughs> and that conversation almost felt like he was calling an ex-girlfriend trying to get some skit straight with her. <laughs> he Martel said it though. Was he said it. <laughs> mad. And he was like, I don't have time. You haven't spoken to me in months. months? And I was like, right, huh? man, let's go ahead and keep it 100. Men do that. Yeah, we do that. Well, keep it 100. I do that. <laughs> I would keep up with my friends on social media and hit them up, like their pictures, mm -hmm. all that. But sometimes we'll talk for months. And that's cool with us. All of us and have then, our own individual you, and lives. And you talk and you pick right back up where you yeah. left off as, as if you never was apart. So, <clears throat> they ended up coming up with the, you, we need to talk in person. So, Martel pulled up. No, Marceau pulled up over there where Martel was at. Too many M's in this freaking show. Yeah. Way too many M's. Yum, yum, and yum. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it got real, real quick. Yeah. He wouldn't, he wouldn't shake his hand. And he was Sorry, like, bruh, what? they even shake hands on the battlefield. Yeah, know, like, I'm a fight. Yeah. Where did this come from? And he was like, yo. Oh, and then we learned in that setting that they bought everybody out of the ho those houses. Mm -hmm. Cause we were wondering how this whole house thing was going. Well, the Hulks bought everybody out. Them so the Hulks nice were the ones who sold the houses. Yeah. So them we got that posture. Them houses nice too, man. They're really nice. They're real nice. Real nice. So congratulations to whoever the new owners are. Because I heard that um they... Yeah, so Martel is telling Marcel, you know, I'm sick of the phony stuff and the, the um, jokes and the hee hees and the ha ha's. Yeah. Let me tell you how I think this really went down. And this is just me from knowing TV, knowing how things play out. And that's why I said it was important to have a reunion of this show. Yeah. Because everything that Martel is complaining and offended about right now. Are stuff that he laughed at and that he was cool with. Yeah, when it was together. When it was live. Yeah, when it was together. When yeah. they were living in that moment and in yeah. that space. And I would give it to him. Y'all know that me and Marceau, we have like a love hate. Like, I have learned to understand the guy that he is. I don't always agree with him, but I have learned to understand how he is. He's a jokester, mm -hmm. but he means well. Mm -hmm. And. He has gone straight up with Martel. Yeah, go right from at what him. I have seen. Yep. The two phones. He didn't say that to anybody else. He said that to, to him. To him, yep. When his wife was trying to talk about Martel, he was like, I'm not going to. Nah, gonna... uh, I ain't about to put that out there, you know. The yep. only thing that I can see would be controversial is when they were in that limo and he <laughs> did say maybe one of the hosts were a little busier than the other one. That's a joke. I. I I will give but it seemed, that. But it seemed like, like you said, they joke like that, though. It was cool. And, yeah. But what happened was, after they have watched all this skit <laughs> and broke, and now it's time to come back to film, now people, feelings are in the way. But like Marceau was like, you could have just called me, bruh. And told me that. Why I had to find out through, uh, what's the name, Sadar? Sadar? Sadar, yeah. Why I had to find out through him. That's the worst way to find out that somebody got an issue like, you he said, I feel, like I'm, he said, I feel like I'm talking to a whole woman well, right yeah, now. You could have came to me. That's what men do. And that's true. Men, you have an issue. You call them. You hash it out. And it's over. And so, and this is where Martel went. I mean, he went, cut his neck off, 
Finish him. <laughs> y'all look down on me like I'm the only one that don't cheat yeah. around here. I was like, As what? As if y'all haven't cheated with 20 women and all this stuff. And I'm like, like, what? I'm not saying where nobody's <laughs> has been because I don't know long as I know what mine is. And to be honest, as much as I love this one and I know what this one is, you can't even 100% say that you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. That you know what's going on. Yeah, you just don't know. Individuals are individuals. Let's right. not get it twisted. But uh, I I just feel like this is a personal dig. I'm going yeah, down. Uh, I'm, I'm taking, taking you the down. ship down with me. Crab basket mentality. That's what it is. Now, these people have been... It seems like the men at least have been around each other for years, 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 years. Mm -hmm. Something could have happened way back in the gap. Mm -hmm. Way back in the day. Yeah. That nobody knows about. Or something that maybe the wife and the husband do know about. But they moved past it. But now, because I'm going down. Yeah. And you're teasing me. <clears throat> don't act like that your skin is clean too. Yeah. It's, it's hard to believe. Even if, 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 if Moss so is cheating. It ain't with no 20 women. I'm, nah. I mean, he barely First had, of all, why you embellish at 20 women? Yeah. And I'm like, I, looking at from the show and all that they have going on. He don't have time for Tish. Some of the time. 20? What time he had to be with 20 women? 20 women? 20. 20 women. Women's muscle. <laughs> so muscle was a month. So I was like, what the what F are the you talking, talking about? about? And he said that looking him straight in the eye like, you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. He was like, this is unreal. So Marceau went home and he fixed him some cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> and when his wife came home, he said, send them kids upstairs. We got we drink. We got to talk and we got to drink. Uh-huh. And he told her. Now, editing is a motherfucker because mm -hmm. the conversation went from, uh, uh, I said, what did they cut out mm -hmm. in there? Because none of that made sense to me. But... Marceau told her how it went. He couldn't believe that how this guy was coming at him. He was mad about the jokes and the da da. And if anybody, he should be mad and he really should be mad at Tisha because Tisha does dig <laughs> at Martel. She does. And I don't know what Letitia knows, but she really does dig at that thing. So that's going to come back and bite her too, unfortunately. But. Tisha was like, you know, why would you allow him to sit there in your face and say something like that? Like, as if, is there any truth to this? Like, you know, tell me the tea. Because you didn't... I don't. I really don't know what she expected him to do, though. Yeah, but like he said, I can't stop yeah. him from saying... You, he can say whatever he want to say. But like, he's, like he told her, my integrity is going to speak for me. So I just... Bro, I hope that holds up. <laughs> I hope it holds up too. I said if you have done something, it, it probably won. It ain't no twenties, that's yeah. for sure. But but Martel is saying it as if it's fresh. Maurice is it ain't on it too. He yeah. said y'all. Who is y'all? Cause yeah. first friggin' all, what you're not gonna do is put my buddy Maurice in this. He is married. He got a new boo from the DMV, and we crazy as hell in the DMV for one. And uh, he getting ready to get his son. Mm -hmm. All that good skit. Don't, Sorry, don't start no skit. Won't be no yes, skit. I can't, I can't see him just throwing it all away like that. I know some people do. But don't do that, y'all. Yeah, don't do that, y'all. Yeah. And uh -huh. if you want to hit, if you if you mad at Marceau, you want to hit Marceau. Do yeah, that. just call his name out. But don't put that <laughs> y'all Because yeah. that y'all be, be like, who is y'all? Mm-hmm. I don't like when our friends be around talking and be like, yeah, talking talking to one of the other friends like, yeah, y'all been cheating this or you be like, we y'all, we y'all what you were cheating. This one right here? Like what? What? S say say it now. Huh? <laughs> say it now. How dare you say it today? So we'll see how this skit go next week. Um edit like I told you, editing is a mob bucket, so we really just don't ever know how this is gonna go. But to me, if you look out on social media, it looks like everybody isn't really in a good place. But we know how that goes too. Mm -hmm. We play for the cameras and whatnot. But so far, Melody didn't put him out. He said he won't go on no way. He won't move now. They won't get a divorce. And I believe mm -hmm. him. Yeah. I believe him. So I don't think they're gonna get a divorce. But yeah, I think they probably gonna work. They probably gonna work it all out. So we gotta go through the drama of the show, and then get to the end, and then it's everything gonna be worked out, and you know he gonna be quote unquote fixed. But like I told you, I said. I don't want to sit back and really judge Montel. 
because I like I said I don't have all the facts but I told her told my wife last week, I said, I actually took a look at myself. I'm not a cheater. I've never been a cheater. Even when I was in school and, you know, all my boys would be, you I know, running in with me. I, if, if I'm with you, I'm faithful with you to the end. I'm, I'm there. But I'm like, but I know that I'm not beyond it. So I don't want to prejudge him without all the facts. But it would be good to find out, you like know. Like, how what, does that happen? Yeah, how did, how did you get to that place and... I understand from the standpoint of maybe going out and making a mistake, you might have got too drunk or too high or whatever, and you fell one time, but three years? That's a whole relationship. That's a whole relationship, man. And, so and I want like, to know, how did you, like the yeah, therapist has been there. trying to pull out of him, mm -hmm. how did you get there? Yeah. and he, Because you know, he, that helps people. But like he was telling, when um when his friend was questioning, he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I did it. And this when he went into, you know, it's the power, and the, but it's 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 more more to it than that. And it could be an identity crisis. Yeah, now, I still believe he's a narcissist, and I don't throw that around lightly. Everybody's a narcissist these days. If you let people tell, it, I don't throw that around lightly. Yeah. I think he is, but I think he has an identity crisis. Like he's gone from college to this to that mm -hmm. to that, and somewhere in between, I don't know if he really knows who he is. Like he's yeah. in this lifestyle that. And Maybe I'm, he just wants to wild out. Yeah, and I'm but like, he's not in a relationship where he can wild out. You, or, you married. Or was he not ready for success? Or was he not ready for marriage? Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, why get to this level of success to the side, you know, the slingy ding ding around town? You know, I, I don't know. Yeah, so I hope that they clarify it up, you know, because I know there's only two ways that you can give wisdom is from the mistakes that you see others make and the mistakes that you make. So tell us. Yeah, tell us. Martel. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.